professional, ambitious women, it's Mary Jervich of MaryJervich.com, guiding you to accelerated promotions and a life of abundance you can truly enjoy. And in today's accelerated promotion planning tip video, I'm going to teach you how to get a promotion, especially if you feel that you've been passed over by someone who doesn't perform nearly as well as you, or if you've been in your position for over a year and there are no signs of advancement coming your way. Now, as a promotion planning career strategist, I've had the honor of helping numerous women earn promotions and raises on the spot year after year without current openings, going back to school or working harder, or even just hoping to be noticed. And if that is something that you are interested in working with me one-on-one -on, -one on, I can give you details about that at the end of this video. Now, when it comes to earning a promotion, there are some key characteristics that you can develop that will set you apart from others. Before we dive into these key characteristics, I wanna talk about a big myth out there, and you may be falling for it. A lot of women fall prey to this misconception because this is how we have been trained throughout school and in our lives. So what is it? Hard work equals promotions and raises. We have been taught to work hard and it will get us what we want. While I'll never want to encourage you not to work hard, hard work alone does not equal promotions and raises. You will want to embody and take other characteristics and actions if you desire accelerated and predictable advancement. That's why in this video, I'm going to share with you my seven top characteristic traits that will show your manager that you are ready to advance. Okay, let's dive in. Number one, confidence in yourself. If others are going to see you as capable and confident, then you have to be confident in yourself. Others are going to have a hard time seeing something in you that you don't see in yourself. So this means that you have to believe in yourself a little bit more than you don't believe in yourself. At least get to that 51%. The key is, is that you want to see yourself on a level playing field with those that are above you. You can't walk around the office acting like you don't belong in those upper ranks. If you want to be in the upper ranks, then you have to have the confidence to be there. And that starts with believing in yourself. Now, the rest of the tips are going to help to build that confidence. Okay, number two, be solution based. It's easy for people to criticize and talk about problems in the workplace, but those that get promoted are the ones that solve the problems. So you want to be a key problem solver for your manager. If you can see things that are going wrong in the company and you know how to fix them, then you want to take these solutions into your manager's office, right? So the last thing we want to do is go to a big group meeting and point out all the problems. Um, even if we have the solutions, we want to be respectful in the way that we approach our manager. Think about it like this. If you were the manager, how would you want people to be approaching you? right? You'd want them to come to your door. You'd want them to set up a time to meet with you. And you'd want someone that came in with a solution, not just with a problem. So be your manager's right hand. Come to them whenever you see problems and you know how to fix them. Come with those solutions and then make sure this is so important, most important than just even identifying and coming up with the solutions, but actually work to solve the problems. When you can be a problem solver, you are going to be seen as someone that is a leader and someone that is ready for that next step in their career. Number three, take risk and fail forward. Those that succeed in life are not the ones who always get it right. Often the best way to improve an outcome is to take action, even when we're not sure how it'll work. So don't take failure personally but see it as a means to success. The secret to success is taking risk. Remember, we get zero of the opportunities that we don't put ourselves out there for. Many of the greatest professionals and inventors out there, they have all failed more than they have succeeded. Whether we're looking at Babe Ruth, his number of home runs versus the number of times he's struck out, or whether we're looking at inventors, the hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of times that they failed before they finally got to success. No one's going to remember your failures once you get to success. So don't own the failure as if it's you that is a failure. 
Because you failed does not mean you're a failure. It means that you took a risk and you have found one way that doesn't work. Keep working and you will find success. What we find is those that are willing to fail quickly actually succeed first because they are the ones that can actually process what works and what doesn't work. So take action. Number four, be early for deadlines. Meeting deadlines is good, but if you wanna stand out as a top performer, then you wanna be efficient in your work. Any great employee can meet deadlines. So start out by accelerating your work and turning it in early. People will not forget this about you, and it will allow you to be selected for important company projects as well as for advancement because people are gonna want people on their teams and in leadership that get things done before they're due. So even if you can't get the whole project turned in, get in the habit of getting things started before the deadline. You'll be so much happier that you did and your manager is really going to love the fact that they can depend on you not only to get your work done by deadlines, but in advance. Number five, be kind and assertive. Okay, first, let me say kindness is not being a doormat that everybody can walk all over. Doormats are not kind. They lack self-worth and confidence, okay? So kindness, it's not silence, and it's not meeting everybody else's needs before your own. So what do I mean by kindness? Well, have a good attitude and be positive and optimistic. When you put off this great energy, others are gonna to wanna to be around you. Be the encourager, believe in your team, offer to help others when you can, and whatever you do, don't gossip about your coworkers or your boss. Avoid those who gossip as much as possible. You can hold doors and get to know your coworkers and your manager. Take notes on what they like and what they enjoy. The key is to be approachable and not act like you are above others or that others are below you. Oftentimes, high performers have their head down in their work, which is so amazing, but you also want to be seen as a likable person, a person that people enjoy talking to and a person that cares about others. So take time to talk to your boss about their kid's football game or their cute dog every once in a while. Another thing you can do to show kindness is let others know how you appreciate them, especially your boss. Most people in the workforce don't feel appreciated. If you help others to feel appreciated, especially your boss, because no one's likely appreciating them, then you are certainly going to stick out to them. Now, the key is you don't want to overdo this, but you do want others to know that you are grateful for them. You're grateful for their contributions and that you enjoy working with them. In meetings, you can let others speak first. So what you can do is listen to what others have to say, get curious about what they're saying, ask questions, acknowledge what you like about others' ideas, and then boldly and confidently share yours. Kindness is all about showing others that you care because here's the key. When you advance in your career, it's not just about getting the promotion to that next level. You want to be effective in that position. And to do that, you're gonna want others that are believing in you and others that want to work alongside of you. When you show kindness now, you are going to be building up that reciprocity for years to come. And you want that on every level of the organization. So be kind. Number six, a hunger for personal development. When you are learning new things, not only will you stay at the forefront of the industry, but you're also going to inspire others to want to grow and develop. And you wanna be seen as someone who is developing and growing because this is going to naturally lead your boss to see you as someone who can develop into other roles. And the lower ranks of an organization, these are highly focused on doing tasks. As you move up in your roles away from doing to leading and managing, to be promoted, you'll want to develop your communication, your presentation, your emotional intelligence, your coaching, and your leadership skills to be the most effective in these roles. Number seven, communicate your value. While we can all find it rewarding to have others notice and recognize our work, we can't rely on others to know what we want. 
If you truly want to accelerate your advancement, then you'll want to advocate for yourself. Those that showcase their value and their future value in the right way are the ones that ultimately succeed in advancement. You can't depend on others to remember how great you are or to know that you want more out of your career. I want you to think about it like this. When you go into a restaurant, your server knows that you want something to eat or drink, but they don't have a clue what you like, if you're allergic to anything, or how hungry you are. The same is true for your career. Your boss knows that you want to work and earn a paycheck, but they can't read your mind when it comes to knowing what career opportunities you want. If you're ready for more or how you'll even execute in that next position. So take the guesswork out by confidently and strategically communicating with them your career desires. So there you have it. Those are my seven tips for how to earn a promotion. Now, if you're someone who's been on this path of earning a promotion or raise, and you've been trying for a while, but you just haven't had much luck, and you're ready for some one-on-one -on -one professional coaching, then feel free to reach out to me and head on over to my website, maryjervich.com forward slash masterclass to learn more about the proven My Promotion Plan Blueprint that is helping women confidently go from passed over to promoted in record time. In the masterclass, you'll learn how to stand out confidently as the obvious choice for promotions and races year after year. After watching, you'll be invited to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me where we'll discuss your specific career goals and how to get you there in less than half the time while maximizing your income. If you like this video, then give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.